Hello again, my name's Gabe Zona. This uh, would explain a lot. One of my viewers sent me a rather interesting little bit of information, and I did a whole lot of searching. Came up with some interesting little articles. I'm going to attach one or two. This particular one was posted on February the 24th, 2013. And it lists a number of individuals, and I went ahead and verified that those individuals do in fact exist. A Major General A.D. Sorrells, S-U-R-L-E-S, Senator Cooper, Alan Lynch, and Larry Craig. This, again, would explain a lot. It would explain why Senator Mitch McConnell never went after Barack Hussein Obama when one would have thought that he would have gone after Barack Hussein Obama. The title, A Strange and Possibly Sordid Story of Mitch McConnell's Military Service. I'm going to attach the link. There's a lot of information you might want to sort of peruse through. But in essence, what it says is that Mitch McConnell was given a discharge from the military. And the reason he was given a discharge from the military is because he was caught sodomizing another soldier, having anal sex with another man. And if you take a look at Mitch McConnell, he does look like he could be, you know, AC Doocy. And again, I'm not saying that he is, or he was. Just read the article, come to your own conclusion. It would definitely explain, again, why he's never gone after that homosexual we had in the Oval Office for eight years, Barack Hussein Obama. It would explain why he never questioned Big Mike. <laughs> See, they have so much dirt on each other that they're not going to expose one another. In essence, they both have guns pointed at each other's heads. Neither one's going to pull the trigger. You want to read what it says. The basic assumption is that he's a closet queen. He has one of those token wives to make it appear that he's normal. But just look at him. Pillow face. Mitch McConnell. Folks, the article might be created to make him look bad. I don't think it is. I think what we got here is someone that likes to distract, divert, to deceive. That's why he's all over what's going on with Judge Roy Moore. You know, all these special counsels. What has to happen is a special investigation has to be conducted about him. And how difficult can it prove if he was in the military? And if he received a discharge. He was well connected with a high-ranking senator. Folks, here's another example of how they're so eager to send your children to war, but they themselves don't go to war. He didn't. Bill Clinton didn't. George W. Bush didn't. Barack Hussein Obama didn't, and nor did President Trump. He had bone spurs. What's truly amazing is all of these individuals that never went to war become commander-in-chief. There's something wrong with that picture. That's sort of what I think. Read the article. 
and tell me what you think. The article certainly appears to be factual. And again, I've done as much research as I can, but more needs to be done. And what it shows you is the total corruption within our Senate and our Congress. I'm almost positive that if we learn where that $17.2 million went, some of it went to hush up people that Senator John McCain was involved with. Folks, I don't make the news. Read the article and you let me know what you think about Pearlfish. Go look into his wife's family. They're shipping magnets. You know those big container ships that go back and forth from China? I believe his wife is Chinese. And uh, go Google when they found heroin or cocaine on the ships. I did videos on it, but nothing ever came of it. Why would it? They're the elitists. Thanks for listening.